Hi Leo and welcome to your map of destiny tarot reading. This is a timeless tarot reading so whenever you watch this video is probably when the messages of this reading are most relevant to you and your life. The tarot decks that I'm using and the meaning of their placement in this reading are listed in the description below this video if you are interested in that information. So, Leo, as you see, you guys are the hero of the Zodiac. You guys save the day. You guys are the life of the party, the center of attention. Some say that Leos are, um, they were royalty in a past life. So, Leo is the hero. You always save the day. You are the friend that everybody wants to have, the friend that everybody can count on, okay? Leos are always very popular. I have not met a single Leo that didn't have five bazillion friends. All right, Leo, so let's see what higher powers are working with you this life. Cosmic Heart. This card invites you to open your heart fully and tune in to the love radiating from Venus, which is the heart center of this universe. Pure unconditional love is held within Venus at the ninth dimensional frequency, a higher frequency than we can currently access. The angels are suggesting you find time today to call on Mother Mary or the unicorns. With their help, you can step down into this powerful but gentle love to a level you can handle and bring it into your heart center. Breathe in the love from the cosmic heart and radiate it outward to everyone today. So, Leo, like I said, everybody is attracted to you and loves you because... You have amazing energy and this lifetime, the cosmic heart, the ninth dimensional, purest vibration of love is working with you, okay? So it's no wonder everybody is attracted to you. Next, we have Neptune. Neptune is the planet of higher spirituality and the wisdom of Atlantis and Lumeria is held within its ascended aspect. You are blessed for you only receive this card when you are ready to receive their information. Your guidance is to tune into your earth star chakra, then connect with Neptune, the cosmic earth star chakra. Archangel Sandalfin oversees this center. He nurtures your divine potential and will help you download the spiritual light you are waiting for. This will expand your consciousness and greatly assist your ascension journey. Nice. So, Leo, many of you um, coded within your soul have this ancient wisdom that comes with you as you're born into this life, okay? And because of that, you radiate like it's just a natural wisdom. Um, and people connect to you and open up to you and talk to you easily because of this energy, because of the cosmic heart energy. Like, everybody just loves you like loves leo so let's pull a court card to see where your soul is at with this energy okay okay that is it Nice, Leo, Master of Flames. So this is your own energy. And not everybody, um, I believe, Capricorn received their own energy. Um, Aquarius received their own energy. Taurus received their own energy. But what this is saying, Leo, is you are the master of of this Neptune energy, of this cosmic heart energy, okay? Your soul, the vibration, the frequency of your soul is that of master. So when it comes to the element of fire, 
you are the master of that energy, the master of spirit, the master of the ethers of creation, of creativity, of passion, of fire, of warmth. Like you're just this beautiful ball of vibrating, fiery energy and everybody is attracted to your warmth. It's so healing. It's so uplifting. It's no wonder you're so dang popular. So with this, Leo, you are a master this lifetime. Your soul is the master of flames. Some of you could have a fire moon sign or a fire rising sign as well, being the master of flames. This here, like, you are just going to understand people in a special way. And it's not so much about, like, being an empath. Um, you just are going to have this natural ability to understand people because you are the master of of the flame master of the soul so you're just gonna have this really special way of relating with people that not every sign can do even water signs who are very spiritual very empathic they don't always have the ability to connect sometimes they can be quite socially awkward but you're not you just have this amazing energy that everybody is attracted to so let's see what you where you are in your current cycle of your soul okay wow nine of flames i almost thought this was going to be the 10 like honestly i was really sure this was going to be the 10 i had to just look at the next card and look it's an ace so it makes it a 10 anyways nine of flames leo oh my god you guys are almost at the end of a soul cycle, okay? Like this lifetime could be the completion of that, um, but I feel more like there's more to this soul cycle than just this life. So when I say soul cycle, I think of it from um, one to 10, and I don't look at it like 10 lives or you know 10,000 years, nothing like that, because Time is really only about the earth plane. It does not exist in the non-physical. So this here is telling me, Leo, when it comes to the energy and element of fire, you are the master. You've been working with this energy for many lifetimes, okay? And the larger cycle of your soul, the current cycle that you've been working on, you are almost to the end of that. So... Um, this life, because you're a master and you're like almost to the end of this soul cycle, Leo, you are going to encounter a lot of challenge. And in saying that, I just have to point out level expert soul. You need level expert experiences. Otherwise, you can't continue to grow and transition as a soul. So you may encounter many different challenges, but there's nothing you aren't capable of overcoming. You are the master of fire, the master of flames. So let's pull a card here to look at your material path for this life. Nine of crystals, so we have two nines back to back. Nine in numerology is very significant for you. So Leo, with this here, this is saying you are meant to live a life of comfort and abundance and luxury, okay? To varying degrees, this is a general reading, so that's to varying degrees. Um, some of you, what this means is you may struggle, you know, finances may fluctuate, throughout life, but there, there comes this point where it stabilizes and you are financially abundant and good, okay? Um, for others of you, this could indicate at some point in your life, there's this large payout of money to you. It could be an inheritance, it could be an insurance claim, maybe even a lottery win for some of you, who knows? But for some, this could indicate that there's just this large lump sum of money that just shows up, okay? Um, for others of you, this is talking about how you know, you may change your career path several different times throughout your life. And, you know, it's going to 
bring you money, multiple sources. Others of you, this is talking about how you have multiple sources of income, you know, um, throughout your life or at different points in your life. But the overall energy with this card is saying that, Leo, you are going to be very independent. And for most of you, this money, this financial stability, it comes from your own efforts, your own hard work over your lifetime, okay? It's like you create the way for yourself and you're um, very successful at some point along this journey of your life. And also your material path coming in as a nine next to the nine of flames, it speaks to the... Um, age of your soul not that souls have ages but you're just so wise and wow all right so let's take a look at your emotional relationships and connections that you will have this lifetime this is like your family connections your friend relationships and your romantic relationships We have the five of chalice. Um, I'm trying to think who else got that. Aries. Aries also received this for um, their emotional relationship connections. Leo, what this says here is even though you are everybody's friend and you will have, like, everybody will know you and, and you will know them. The element of this card is saying that there's only going to be a few connections in your life that you consider to be your friend. Like everybody's going to think you are their friend, but there's very few people that you will consider you that they are your friend, if that makes sense. OK, um, you're going to deal with a lot of um, energy that is not like soulmate energy and Therefore, there's going to be like a lot of relationships that come and go out of your life. This is romantic and this is um, to do with like friends. There's just you're going to have a lot of different relationships and experiences in and out, in and out of your life. And I'm not surprised because you're the master of flames here. But something that is very beautiful with this card is you see these two cups here that stand. Um you are going to have a love connection with somebody this lifetime that is just beyond all the other relationships you have. That is not to say that you won't have love, lust, desire, all kinds of that, all those emotions for other people, but there's only going to be one for Leo that stands above the rest. And that is depicted with these remaining two cups that are standing here the twin flame love. Now, also because of the energy of this card, your twin flame love, Leo, is going to be very challenging and a very painful experience for you at times. And again, master. You are master. So the challenges you face are on that level of that caliber. So the trick for you is to not get too emotionally caught up in all the like throwaway relationships and experiences that you encounter in this lifetime because the one and only like true love for Leo is going to be like the most beautiful connection you know it may even be the most beautiful person you know even if you guys have a lot of conflict and um, challenge in your relationship but you will have two soulmates, Leo, that walk with you this lifetime. They'll either walk with you this entire lifetime or you'll meet each one of them at different points in your lifetime. And now I'm not talking about romance now. I'm talking about like your friendship connections. You're going to have a lot of friends that you're close to at different points. And then again, it washes away the spilt and damaged three of cups. It washes away. But there's going to be two people that are just really strong soulmate connections that are a great support to you. And you consider only these people your true friends, your true 
um, people that have your back, people that you open up to, even though you might have 500, 500 other people saying, oh yeah, Leo's my, my boy or my girl, that's my homie over there. You're like, yeah, hey, but to you inside, they're just another person that you know, okay? Um, even though you are so popular and everybody wants to be around your energy and in your life, there is going to be a sense where you feel really disconnected and alone at times. And it's not for a lack of other people trying to be in your world. It's just your the way you connect to people because you are the master of flames here. It's few and far between. Connections are going to be very rare. And so when you feel that very special, hey, I know you, we're soulmates then you just open up and, you know, you trust and it's beautiful. But for everybody else, if you don't have these relationships around in your life, it doesn't matter who's around. You kind of feel um, alone and isolated. So let's take a look here at past life karma that's coming in um, to this life through an orbs card. And we're not really going to look at what this karma is, like what you did in a past life to cause it. I really want to see how does that impact this life? What kind of challenge does that create for you? Yeah, four of orbs. So, Leo, like I said, um, there's going to be moments in your life where you just feel really disconnected and isolated from other people where you're like, oh, I just don't relate. I don't connect to you. You don't understand me. You don't understand where I'm coming from. And as a master, you are going to require a lot of personal space for you to get right with yourself when you get out of balance. Um, it, it The depiction of this card is like, your greatest emotional storms you really try to face on your own and not really open up to other people okay um the thoughts that plague you the negative thinking that may loop over and over and over in your head like that's your biggest downfall you need to gain control of your thoughts and your emotions in this life because in a sense that's what makes you feel so isolated okay so this is your past life karma coming in there's um it, an element here of like loneliness isolation having to walk our path alone and coming in as a master energy leo i'm not surprised to see this energy um in your reading on your path so let's pull some major arcana cards to see what the lessons of your soul are this lifetime. All right. Oh, nope. One more shuffle. I felt one more shuffle. All right, okay, right there, there we go. We have guidance, yeah, this pairs really nicely. The reason why you disconnect, the reason why you feel isolated and lonely sometimes is because you are made to not seek any sort of outwardly advice. You're made to connect and go into your own soul you are wise you don't need the counsel of anybody else leo your solitude your meditation you connecting to your own soul is the best medicine for you and you're learning that this lifetime now here we have luna yeah you um you're learning about your intuition and you're learning about your emotions at a soul level this lifetime so let's see here karma yeah um you leo you have some i think pisces got that too you have some karma from past life that is coming over into this life um there's it's probably you're probably going to experience like a lot of karmic relationships romantic relationships this lifetime and that this like all of this these three cards are playing into each other 
with that message. And, you know, whatever happened in your past life to create this imbalance of energy, it doesn't really matter. Karma returns to us not to punish us, but to teach us. So we, you know, balance that energy that we um, left in disharmony and learn how to not create that imbalance of energy again. And so for you guys, you're this master of spirit, but it's like this lifetime on a soul level, you're learning about emotional relationships. You're like connecting to your emotions and, you know, being uh, the master of flames, you are very connected to your emotions in general. Okay. You're a very uh, sensitive creature. However, your emotions, especially that of romantic love that you feel and experience with somebody else, I get the sense that that was a big challenge for you and your past life, and that comes forth into this life. So you're like this master, but when it comes to love and romance, you just, um, I don't want to say you can't get it right, but it's like kind of a foreign concept to you because you're learning about your emotional body and really connecting to that and allowing yourself to connect emotionally to another human being. And because you have all these throwaway relationships that come and go throughout your life, it can cause you to disconnect and distrust love and connection. But Leo, there's one love for you right there. And maybe you've got to balance some karma um, from past life before you and this twin flame can totally fall madly in love and be what you need to be. But you're learning about your emotions, um, romantic love, and you're learning about how to really trust yourself, your inner guidance, and go to that. And you are, okay? That's why you feel isolated sometimes. So let's pull some Dreams of Gaia to look at what are the predominant experiences you will have this lifetime. Okay. King of Earth. Emotions and intellect, yep, like I just said. And destiny, wow, Leo, wow. So with King of Earth here, what this says, Leo, is there's going to be a male Earth sign energy that is very significant in your life. This could be your twin flame. This could um, be your father. This could be... Um, your brother, a cousin, a friend. It's just that there will be a very significant male earth energy in your life. Also with this, um, you guys are going to connect very well to earth sign people, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Now with emotions and intellect, just like I said, you're really learning about your emotions this lifetime, the power of them, um, the way they can cut you, the way they can cut others, getting comfortable with being in love, feeling intimacy and emotional closeness with others, okay? That's really um, a huge focus for you. And then we have intellect here. So it's like you're trying to find that balance between your emotions and your thoughts you know, because a lot, a lot of us either make decisions based on logic or based on emotion. And you are trying to perfect that balance of the in-between where you address what you're feeling emotionally, you address your logics, but you still make your final decision based on the prompting of your soul. Okay, and then destiny. This is telling you that Everything that plays out this lifetime is exactly what is meant to be for you. Like I said, you are nearing the end of a soul cycle. So this life is very significant. Um, for some of you, it looks like you are really trying to clean up your karma overall. Like overall. You're like tying up loose ends, all that kind of thing. Because you are getting near the end of this soul cycle. 
and your soul is going to move on to other things when this is completed. So I feel like for many of you, your next lifetime is going to be a very, very spiritual journey, um, quite different from this lifetime because like I said, you're cleaning up karma, you're balancing your karma and um, it's your destiny, like everything that plays out Leo, this life, trust every bit of it. It is your destiny, okay? We have karma and destiny both out in your reading, which I haven't seen that in any of these, and I only have a couple more to do after you. So, yeah, big, big soul stuff happening for you guys this lifetime, and your intuition, Leo, it's a real thing. Trust it, okay? trust it fire energy you are the sun let the moon the emotion within you rise so let's take a look um with the romance angels at your twin flame connection how does that play out for you this lifetime yeah but leo you're gonna be so wise like you're going to be able to just offer advice so effortlessly to others and you're just going to be able to connect to them so in such a way that's why they think you're their best buddy and you're like yeah i barely know who you are <laughs> okay wow you saw that one wanted to come out. True love. Yeah, Leo. You may have love for some. You may have lust for some. You may just love having sex with some. But there is only one for you. There is one that stands above all the rest. And that is your true love through and through. And you guys have a very fun and playful, sexy relationship. But you may have a very hard time expressing yourself and expressing your love to this twin flame. Wow, very, very interesting, Leo. But I'm not surprised because we do have, you know, this challenge to your energy with relationships and your emotions in general. So there is going to be one that you just love and you guys have this really fun playful hot passionate flirty relationship but the challenge will be like expressing that like be you being able to express your emotions for them and connect and be intimate like it's not that you're incapable but um it's perhaps it's something about their energy that they require you to go deeper into your emotions than you know you're used to and that might challenge you some. But nonetheless, it's reiterated here in your romance angels that there is one true love for Leo. And that's that. So let's pull some energy oracle to look at what your blessings are this lifetime. You know, Taurus is the only other one that I saw. And they were actually out of 10. Um, and their life really looked like it was about reward for, you know, all of the energy and lessons and everything they've accomplished in their soul cycle that's now coming to an end. I feel like this life is like you're cleaning up everything because next life is that same sort of like reward to you as you complete your soul cycle. Yeah, look at that. The soulmate love twin flame. Yes, it is a blessing, blessing. And aside from that, the other people that are soulmate energy that you really connect to, like friends, family, they're your greatest assets. They're your greatest blessings in this life. But um, this sits right on top of this true love. So your twin flame, Leo, it's like whoever this person is, is the great one of the greatest blessings of your whole life. Third chakra. 
Yes, you are going to be very powerful, very empowered. Many of you will be in positions of power, especially in the workplace, okay? You're going to be, this right here is everything I've been talking about, you know, people will be attracted to you, people will flock to you, but there's only a select few that you really connect back with. The temple path, yes, you are very spiritual. This um, pairs well with this guidance card. Leo, you are being prompted from a very spiritual place this lifetime and you are reconnecting with your emotions. You are clearing up karma from the past and um, you are going to face some challenge. But based on these cards, I feel like for most of you, this comes more in like your relationships just in general is where your challenge comes into play. But um, you're just, I don't know. I really love your reading, Leo. I do. It's so well-rounded. You have some spirituality going on in here. Um, you have some material going on here. But it's not just all spiritual because some of these readings, oh my God, it's just so spiritual. I'm like, really universe? But you guys, it really looks like you're cleaning up karma this lifetime. You're going to um, resonate well with earth signs. This life is all destiny. It's just like sh 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 you have free will, but I don't really feel like it matters much. It's like you are on a very specific destined path and your soul is not going to let you veer off of that because, again, you're tying up loose ends. You are nearing the end of a soul cycle. So let's pull an ace here to see what your magical it magical energy is for this lifetime. Ha, I'm not surprised to see this. The magic of fire. This is the ace of flames, the ace of fire. That is your magic. Yeah, you are the energy of your soul, Leo. It's just magic. You can manifest things really easily this life having this card. It might be for you actually following through in all the actions that need to take place to make something manifest but you have the spiritual backing and power and magic to make things happen and manifest for you in this life again you are prompted so much of what you do is prompted from your soul this lifetime whether you realize it or not your energy is that of fire seriously I feel like the Leos I'm reading for, your astrology chart is just drenched in fire, like all over the place. You are the master of the fire realm. Like nobody can top you. Amazing, amazing, beautiful energy, Leo. I absolutely love your reading. So I hope that you have enjoyed it too. And I am wishing you all the best. Take care.